gorgeous head. Cynthia, it finally came. Okay, so I, I think I have, this is really small chain, but, but as you'll notice, I, I particularly, they're, they're difficult because see that little thing there, like there's your tooth, there's your little raker, but as you see this here, this other big flat plate, it's almost like another, it's for safety, anti-kickback, okay, and, and they're fine, but it looks to me since that, I'm going to get my glasses, but it does look to me that there's been, uh, there's not much of a gullet taken out of it. And if you want these to cut at all, yeah, I mean, it, it's, I've seen way worse, but, and you say you had this, uh, filed at, the, at one of the shops or something. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I can kind of see it, it to me. It almost doesn't look like the rakers have been touched at all. I think they look shiny. So I'm going to do the rakers for you too. And uh, so, so Cynthia is, I call her the Cynthinator. You guys know, you see her on there. She's about the only gal. There's like one or two gals that even comment. And Cynthia, I'll tell you something. You're a sweetheart. And you are a, 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 just a wonderful support on the channel. I love to see you kibitzing in there with the fellas. I, I just, I think it's great. I was raised by my mother. And uh, you're a you're a resourceful gal. I know you are. So uh, I'm gonna fix this chain up for you. Anyway, so sent she sent this out to me. I I told her to. I said send just just send it out and I'll and I'll fix it. It's more of a fun thing we're doing anyway. Uh, so I'm gonna fix it up for you. Okay, Synth, I've made a uh, an executive decision here on your chain. Okay, we've got to get a hook in it. I, you know, this is a gas powered machine. I would take it. Uh, we got to get a hook in this thing and I, I might even customize this a little bit for you here and, and, and get this thing cut. And, you know, I mean, it's there for a reason. It, it's a safety chain, but, but I'll be honest, like, okay, I, I'm going to use a fatter file. See the difference here? This is what they call for. Okay. Five thirty seconds. And, and, and it goes in nice. You see it, it, it goes in there fine. But so does this, and what it'll do is it'll kind of dig out a gullet and it'll get everything kind of going. And I, I think it, well, I know it's going to work better. You see, it's going to dig down. You can quite, you can actually see it. It's gone down quite a ways into the tooth, which doesn't matter, see? Like we're gonna get a hook in this thing. I mean, I don't want too much of a hook, but look at that. You see that? Opposed to say, oh, I did that one too. Opposed to that. You see the difference, guys? Gals, women and children, look at this. Like, I mean, you see what I'm saying? I'm talking about the hook in the chain now. There is no hook. There's actually a gullet. I've showed this many times. There's a gullet right there, right there, and it goes straight with this. So this is horrible. So we're going to get it cutting is all I'm saying. And I think I'm just going to do, go with that bigger file. And I'm just using my vise to hold things together as I file. It's such a teeny little chain. <laughs> I could just one hand it really, you know, we'll get her cut and sit. We'll get her cotton. You don't want to wipe the, the whole link out on the bottom. You see what I mean? That's nice. I'm going to use the 316th on it. I don't mind using one hand on such a small little chain. But Cynthia, I don't want you cutting your legs off now. You've got them nice legs of yours. You don't want to cut them off. One-handed is not my favorite, but it is small chain. Oh yeah, see, I mean, this is, this is, that's the sound you want right there. I'm just doing it so you can kind of see, Cynthia, what we're doing. I'm kind of giving you a, a bit of an idea on how to do it too. 
at the same time. I'm using a 3 16th file. Okay, that's it. You know, she's going to have a wild hook in her. It's going to be good, actually. All right? Okay. Okay, Cynthia, so I'm going to show you the, the hook. And I'm going to show you the boat one more time. I know you can see this. Look at, look at, friends. Look at this. Look at that tooth. There's absolutely no hook. The rakers have never been touched. It's not cutting anything, and I can imagine so. So if they're charging you to do this, you should tell them to knock that off. Okay. Now, Synth, I want you to watch this. You can do this yourself. Now, I talk about the boat, okay? And the reason I talk about that is because it's actually a very efficient way. And it, believe it or not, it's actually a good way for people who aren't doing it all the time, say a novice filer. Um, it's a great technique because it actually gets that hook for you. Because a novice filer, I think, is really concerned about that top so they kind of I think they, they do a lot of this where they, they they roll up and all of a sudden they're just shooting straight back and it's not happening so watch the motion of the file here synth okay watch watch what happens so I'm, I'm literally going down you, you can actually just go down see the angle of the file like just do a few like that I just call it the boat because I come up so you only need a couple three or four of those that's it like it's almost done you can see, well sure it is, you can see it, look. So now after you get the gullet out, synth, that the gullet being the, the lowest part of the tooth, now you just do a couple cleanup strokes and make sure that you've got your top edge kind of straight, leaning straight. That's a nice cutting tooth, that, okay? So we go in and we put this in here. I'm only doing this because I don't have a bar for this to go in, so. Literally, this is it. I'm going to have this too sharp in, in no time. Okay. Okay, so. There we are. There's our nice little hook there. It's beautiful. It's going to cut nice for you, Synth. It's going gonna, it's gonna to probably act a little differently for you. Looks like we might almost be getting there here. Oh, yeah, look. This is. Yeah. And then what people will do sometimes is they'll concentrate too much on the gullet and they'll forget the top of the tooth. And that's not good either. Okay, we got to get that top of the tooth, friends. Okay. So this one here, we'll just... Remember, this is a, a 3 16th file. So it's going to eat up more of the... Yeah, that's lovely. Really nice. Okay, Synth? All right. Well, that's gonna be, uh... listen, friends, I, I can't stress enough how important the gullet is, and I can't stress enough how silly it is to spend time trying to get all your teeth the same size. Stop doing that if you're doing it. And if it, you're finding that it's taking a long time, you don't actually need to do that. Okay, uh, and I'm gonna show you a little something and I might even do it today. I got a lot on the go, but Victor's done one already. So if you're wondering about that, you can go over and check that out. But in a perfect world, yes, it'd be great if all your teeth were the same, but it, it, it actually surprises me that guys even talk about that like that. It, it really does, it surprises the heck out of me. Because when you're cutting, if you've been cutting for any length of time, you know that sometimes when you hit something, you can hit one side of the tooth and not even touch the other side of the chain. Everyone knows this, that cuts. So why would you, why would you do that? Why, why would you waste such time when all you got to do is just hit the rakers with a raker gauge? You know what I mean? It makes no sense to me. And this isn't a jab at anyone. It's just, a, it's hopefully that... You know, you can change your thinking is what it is. It really is senseless stuff. And I only know this because I've been living on a power saw for over 20 years. And I cut a stink load of firewood. And that's where a man learns about chain and filing because he's in the rocks and the dirt all the time. When you're a firewood guy, 
It's not a cream show all the time. You take the bad with the good and the good with the bad. So, you know, I mean, it, it, that, that's just life. You learn how to file a power saw doing firewood. So I don't want I don't want to hope I'm not, you know, I don't want to get anybody's feathers in a ruffle, but but it's it's silliness. And if, you know, so it just man, Cynthia, this is going to cut. This is really going to cut. I want to show you something real quick. I mean, you've seen it already, I know, but look. You tell me. That help? See the hook in that? And then look at this. You know what I mean? There's just no comparison, eh? So we're gonna get this in cut and says. Okay. Um, Cynthia. And everybody else. How's everybody doing? I hope well. Now, we just uh, filed Cynthia's chain up for her. It was one of these little chains, I'll show it to you. It's got the little 91 number on the driver. Teeny little chain. But just take a minute of your time and look at the chain now. I'm gonna get a file, because I like using my little files as my increment to show friends what's happened. See here? C, C, another C, there's the gullet, there's the link, there's the, the factory spot right there. That factory spot has got to go all the way back when you do the tooth. So see the hook in it? See the nice, nice C. I call it the C. They've all got it now, Synth. Every single one looks like that. Okay? So, but the rakers now, I, I have a little way I check the rakers. There's no raker gauge really for this. You, you, want, you want the rakers a touch lower than you do the tooth. So you kind of just try and do this. You know what? I'm, I'm hesitant to touch the rakers, to be honest with you, Synth. I don't want it too grabby for you. I don't know what you're running for a saw. But trust me on this one. If I may, I may just give them a sweep. I just ever so slightly take the shine off them, okay? I think I will do that. Um, it'll be fine. But if you feel that when you cut with it, that you could get it to pull more, get out your little flat file and just ever so slightly sweep those rakers once. Just sweep so that you take a teeny bit of metal off them, okay? And that's these. You know what I mean? That's these things right there the little thing in front of the cutter tooth is the raker these are like a safety anti-kickback thing that's what those big things are i've never really liked them um with these chains you can afford to have things a little lower so i'm going to give the rakers a sweep cynthia i thank you so much for being a part of this channel you're uh you're you're a light of light i i like it i always like your comments and I was honored to help you out with this, and I'll do it any time for you. It doesn't make sense financially, obviously, shipping it across the country. So, But anyway, uh, everybody have a great day, and uh, get the freaking gullet out of them chains, will you? <laughs> Talk to you soon, over and out, and be kind.